the second Sunday after Pentecost, year B, from the second letter to the Corinthians. We know that if the earthly tent we live in is destroyed, we have a building from God, a house not made with hands, eternal in the heavens. In the name of that God, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Our readings for this week each address this question of protecting our tent in a different way. For Samuel, the tent is the people of Israel, who seek a king who may govern them and go out before them and fight their battles. Just how far will you go? Just what evils will you countenance to protect that territorial tent you've claimed as your own? Will you even reject your God, trusting in chariots and horses, rather than in the God who keeps us safe, though we walk in the midst of trouble, and who stretches forth a hand against the fury of our enemies? In our Gospel reading, the tent is that of the family. Jesus' family is out looking for him to restrain him, whether to protect Jesus from the crowd or to protect Jesus from self-harm or even to protect the reputation of the family. Who knows? There may be some of each mixed together. Jesus says that Satan can't protect his own tent by casting out Satan and that the religious leadership cannot protect the religious integrity of the people by blaspheming against the Holy Spirit. Likewise, his own family cannot protect either him or themselves by restraining him from the ministry which demonstrates his kinship with God. Jesus challenges all of these and all of us to instead claim the power and protection and guidance that God offers to all of those who seek to do his will. The last tent is that of the self. Paul describes our fear at the sight of our outer nature wasting away when doing the will of God puts us at risk. We don't lose heart, however, because we also know that our inner nature is being renewed day by day. This inner nature, this building we have from God, this house in which we invest our hearts and minds and souls and strength is an eternal weight of glory beyond all measure. We invest the world, all we have, and all we do in the world in the work of doing God's will. We invite our neighbor, singing of the ways of the Lord, knowing that because of the humanity we share, our kinship with Jesus through his mother's side of the family, the one who raised the Lord Jesus will raise us also with Jesus and will bring us all into his presence. In the name of that same Jesus, who with the Father and the Holy Spirit lives and reigns now and forever.